Hi friends, yesterday we read the story Pumpkin Jack and at the beginning Tim got a pumpkin and he named him Jack and he carved him into a jack-o'-lantern. But then after Halloween he noticed that when he'd left the pumpkin outside it started to rot and then in the winter the snow covered it up but then by spring little sprouts started to grow and the pumpkin vines grew and then a pumpkin grew ready for him to use in the fall for Halloween again. So he was able to make another jack-o'-lantern and he was able to share some with his friends. Today I'm going to read you a book about all about pumpkins, a non-fiction book and this tells us the life cycle of a pumpkin, so how a pumpkin grows and also what pumpkins are used for. Okay, so not just for Halloween, but maybe for food and all different things like that. So listen carefully to see what facts you can find out about pumpkins. Seed Sprout Pumpkin Pie by Jill S. Baum. Have you picked your pumpkin? A pumpkin seed is tucked into sun-warmed earth. Spring rains soften its tough coat. A root reaches for nutrients, a sprout reaches for light. And soon jagged leaves rise from twisty vines wandering in all directions. Bees visit golden blossoms, spreading pollen from flower to flower. Here and there, tiny green knobs replace wilted flowers. The knobs change colour and slowly swell, growing heavier by the day. Cooler nights arrive, vines shrivel. Left behind are pumpkins, pumpkins, pumpkins. Pumpkins are a type of squash. They can be green, red, tan, yellow, white, or even blue. The pumpkins we know best are bright orange. There are tall pumpkins, short pumpkins, smooth or bumpy, bumpy pumpkins. Wee ones, only inches wide, or giants, you can swim inside. Thump, thump, thump. A pumpkin sounds hollow, but inside is stringy, wet pulp and oodles of slippery white seeds. Seeds might be saved to grow next year's pumpkins or dried for a crunchy snack. Pumpkin pulp smells sharp and tangy but can be made into delicious breads, desserts, and soups. Sugar pumpkins go into the spicy pies we bring to our Thanksgiving tables. The end. Unless, was there something else pumpkins might be used for? Oh yes, jack-o'-lanterns. Will you give yours a funny face or a creepy one to send shivers up your back? Will it be the head of a straw-filled scarecrow? Will your jack-o'-lantern decorate your kitchen table among striped gourds and sunset-coloured leaves? Or will it set your porch aglow on a spooky Halloween night, lighting the way for a curious cat? Unused pumpkins are fed to farm animals or left in the field to nourish the precious soil. And you can see this one here looks like Pumpkin Jack from our story yesterday. Awaiting spring under a wintry blanket. The end. We learned that we can use the pumpkin to eat it, so we can eat the seeds inside, or we can use it to make pumpkin pie, or to make pumpkin soup. And then often people use them to make jack-o'-lanterns, sometimes putting a scary face onto them and leaving them outside at Halloween. And then afterwards, people leave them outside for the animals to eat as well. And at the beginning of the book, we also looked at how a pumpkin grows. And today, that's going to be the activity you're going to do. We're going to look at a pumpkin life cycle. So how it starts and the next thing that happens and what happens then, and then what happens by the end. OK, so have a look at the activity you're going to do today and I'll show you what you need to do. So when you go on to Seesaw, you will see the activity for pumpkin life cycle. You'll notice that you've got five boxes. You've got five pictures and you've got five words. So first, you're going to sort the pictures into the correct order. So I know from the book that we just read that a pumpkin starts off as a seed. So I'm going to put seed in number one. And I know that the last thing that happens 
is that it grows into a pumpkin. So I'm going to go ahead and put pumpkin at number five. And then I'm going to think back to the book and think which one would come second, which would come third, and which one would come fourth. And then when I've got all my pictures in the correct order, the next thing I'm going to do is try and match the words to the pumpkins. So I'm going to, I know that seeds begins with a s, 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 seeds, and I can see one beginning with S here, one beginning with S here, but if I look at the pictures attached, oh, this one says seeds. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to drag that underneath the word seeds and my picture seeds. And then for my pumpkin, oh, I can see that word p -p -p pumpkin. And I know because I know my colour words that this one says orange, this one says green. And I know that my pumpkin ends up being an orange pumpkin. And I can see that picture as well. So I'm going to drag this one over to here. So I have my orange pumpkin. OK, so eventually you'll have all five pictures in the correct order and all five words matching the correct picture. So I hope you have fun doing this activity and we'll see you again later on. Bye.